Hi, my name is Meshak Samson Miner, an adventure biker. Welcome to my channel, The Two Wheels Paradise. Here, we discuss motorcycle content, anything to do with motorcycling. Call it adventure, call it motorcycle safety, maintenance, safety gear, how to understand your bike, how to enjoy your motorcycle alone, group rides. What are the one, two, one, two you're supposed to know when dealing with other bikers? Welcome home, welcome to the channel. Today, we are discussing about a question that has been coming through to me about knowing your bike. How much do you know your bike? Yes, you like something that looks like a motorcycle. Maybe 200cc, maybe 1000cc, maybe it is an off-road bike. You never know, maybe a two-stroke. How much do you know about the motorcycle you are riding today? I want to pose this as a question. Do you know how much oil your bike is supposed to use? What type of oil are you supposed to use in your bike? How many plugs is your bike supposed to use? What type of plugs? Does your bike have a repressible air filter? A repressible oil filter? Yeah? How much power does your bike have according to the manufacturer specs? Is your bike supposed to be an off-road bike? A street? What's the difference between a sport bike and a naked bike? Yes, because you like something. Of course you like something. But how much do you know about that bike? The reason this question is coming through is because some people have been shortchanged. You go to a garage with your 200cc Chinese bike that doesn't even need oil filter. But someone is, ch is charging you for service and in that service list they have included oil filter. How can you be able to tell that you never changed my oil filter because my bike doesn't even have one? Someone is charging you for two spark plugs, but your bike is a single cylinder single plug. How much do you know your bike? If something goes wrong, can you be able to explain this part of the bike is where I suspect the problem is coming from? You have a problem with your wheel bearings, your bike is wombering. Can someone lie to you that it is the crash plates that need replacement? Yeah, because it has happened. Yeah, it has happened. Some people have been charged for things that their bikes don't even need. I have seen somewhere, somebody talking about servicing a Charisma ZMR, and in the list they changed oil filter. You know, I looked at it and just felt the pain for the owner of that bike. Because I have owned that bike for two years, and in my two years, I never saw an oil filter. Never saw one. I never saw one. But people are already paying for them. Because you don't know your bike, when you go to the garage, you just find a seat, a comfortable seat somewhere, you relax and wait for everything to be done, then you can get the invoice. My friend, you need to know your bike. You need to know your bike. You are riding a Ninja 400 and someone is riding a Ninja 650. Can you be able to tell the difference? If you sit on it, can you be able to tell the difference? It is time that us bikers wake up and get involved, hards on. You get hards on involved in actually understanding the bike you ride, understanding how your bike is supposed to perform. Because you see, uh, some dealerships have made fun of their customers by lying to them that this bike can do 180 kilometers per hour. Just because the dashboard is written 180 at the end of it. And they are going to sell that bike at very expensive prices that are not even necessary, not even sensible. But because you don't even understand what exactly you are buying, uh, my friend, you are going to pay for it. I have seen people talking about their 180cc sport bike, sport bike, learning to 170 kilometers per hour, I, I do 180. You know, some of these stories make me wonder, do you really understand what you're riding? Do you really understand what you're riding? It is time for you to wake up and start to understand your bike. 
How much oil do you need? Which grade of oil do you need? Someone is charging you for 4 liters of oil in a 250cc motorcycle. Just because you don't know, you don't have any idea, you're going to pay for it. Someone is telling you, this motorcycle is supposed to use 1 liter of oil. Whereas that bike requires 1.3, 1.4. What is going to happen is, you're going to land so hot in that engine because the oil is not enough. And at some point, you're going to have very expensive repairs on the crankshaft, on the, on the top head of the engine, the cylinder head, the blocks. At some point, you're going to have a lot of bills to pay just because you don't understand your motorcycle. Mine here is a 1999 Honda Transup 400. This one requires 2.3 liters of oil. And at the age where it is right now, over 20 years old, I cannot use a synthetic oil grid on this bike. Oil, synthetic, semi-synthetic, whatever synthetic, forget it, not here. Why? Because the engine cannot sustain the heat with such oils. So if someone comes and lies to me that, Meshak, you know, synthetic oils are good. You can ride for 10,000 kilometers without changing them. Then put 2.3 liters of synthetic oil here. 100 kilometers later, I need a new crankshaft. That is what is happening out here because you don't know your bike. Someone comes and lies to you that, yeah, you can use any spark plug. You just get a hundred chains spark plug, put it on. You see, you cannot even tell a, a difference between a fake and a genuine spark plug. So why? You have never even touched a spark plug with your hands. You go to the garage and sit, get some Wi-Fi, some bundles here, you get to TikTok. You're just watching some stuff while someone else is making fun of you. Someone else is making fun of you. I find people going to the garage and then they come out and still complaining. My bike is still overheating. My bike is ABCD. Why? Someone drained your radiator and never topped it up. Someone drained your oil. They never topped up. Because you don't know the difference between when your bike is okay and when your bike is not okay. Why? You don't even understand how that bike is supposed to look like, supposed to perform like. You have no idea. Know your bike. That is the secret number one for surviving on motorcycles. My name is Meshek Samson Minor, Adventure Biker. Two Wheels Paradise is the channel. Subscribe. You see the button? Please hit it. Give me that gift and I promise you, I will never let you down. From today going forward, this channel is going to be hot. A lot of hot motorcycle content coming your way. Thank you so much and God keep you. And remember, your safety matters. Your safety will determine how long you can be on bikes. So whatever you do, keep yourself safe.